Well, what does Amos chapter 9 have to say about the tabernacle of David? And this video is brought to you by the Jerusalem Tabernacle of David, organization for lifting up worship and praise here in Samaria and in Israel and in Jerusalem. Many blessings. So today we have Amos chapter 9, and this is a famous passage that deals with the Tabernacle of David. So let's take a look at some of these verses earlier on here. Um, today, We'll start the series by taking a look, starting with verse 7 in Amos chapter 9. And we're reading from the George Lamza translation, which is direct into English from the Aramaic version of the Tanakh. So, Amos chapter 9 in verse 7. Behold, you are like the Ethiopians to me, O children of Israel says the Lord. Behold, I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Cappadocia and the Arameans from Kir. So here, Yahuwah, the Lord, is saying that I've worked with these different nations, these different people. I moved the Philistines, the, the Philistines from Cappadocia, I moved them around. The Arameans, I moved them out of Kir. And you, children of Israel, I brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Of course, up here doesn't mean only north as we would see it on the map, but it means up from a lower place coming to a higher place. And Jerusalem in Judaism is always thought of as the highest place. Naturally, geologically, physically, it's not the highest place. There are many far higher mountains than Jerusalem, even than, than Mount Zion in Jerusalem, Har Zion. Even in Jerusalem, Har Zion, Mount Zion, is not the highest mountain even in the city of Jerusalem. There's mountains nearby that are higher. Physically, it's not the highest. In the northern part of Israel, there is Mount Hermon, and that's way higher. There's snow up there regularly in the wintertime. There's ski resorts. Ski resorts got closed uh, a few weeks ago because there were rockets flying in from Syria. The Iranian-backed Hezbollah forces were shooting rockets from Syrian territory against Israel. And so the Mount Hermon ski resorts were closed for a few days because of that as the Israeli military dealt with that. That mountain is way higher than any of the mountains in Jerusalem. But coming up to Jerusalem always means coming up to a higher place spiritually. So here in verse 7, Yahuwah says, yud heh vav -Hey says, Behold, you, children of Israel, are like the Ethiopians to me, O children of Israel, says the Lord. Behold, I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Cappadocia, and the Arameans from Kir. So here Yahuwah is saying, I move people around according to my will. I moved the Philistines, I moved the Arameans, I moved the Ethiopians, and I also moved you. I brought you. I'm the one who did it. It's not because of your own plans or your own designs. Do you think the children of Israel could have, through their own wisdom, brought themselves out of Egypt? Egypt was the number one world superpower at the time. They were serving the nation of Egypt there. They were serving Pharaoh. They were a slave nation, basically. There were many slave nations that were there. There's no way they could have gotten away. They had no chance against that Egyptian army. But it was Yahuwah, yud heh vav -Heh, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, who brought you, children of Israel, 
out of the land of Egypt. So we'll continue this series going forward in the future, and that's verse 7 from Amos chapter 9. And this is Teddy from Jerusalem Tabernacle of David, lifting up praise, worship, Bible teaching in Samaria and Israel and in Jerusalem. Many blessings. See you soon. Shelter Bibles with biblical teaching and news commentary to guard your mind. Here in Samaria, raising funds to provide supplies for bomb shelters all over Israel.